It's surprising to me that people still don't know that about 39 million people are in, living with HIV. The scientific community has really responded to the HIV epidemic, making it a manageable condition. But what's really exciting is the new advances coming forward. Welcome, Welcome to, to Vive Healthcare, Healthcare Science, Science on the, the Sofa. sofa. Back in the day, we used to hear a lot more about HIV on billboards, radio, and television. But now it seems as though it's a manageable disease just like any other. What is your take on that? People live long, healthy lives as a result of the advances. And that's maybe dampened down the, the level of information you hear about it. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those advances that have been made? How did we get to this particular place within the care of people living with HIV? HIV is a very stealthy, elusive virus. It attacks immune cells, it degrades the immune system, it mutates and becomes drug resistant quite quickly. The advent of antiretroviral therapy changed the course of the epidemic, but people had to take multiple single oral drugs, sometimes 10 plus drugs per day, complicated regimens, really hard to adhere to. All of that made those early days really challenging. So let's fast forward to where we are today. Where are we today with antiretroviral therapy? Kim, we're in a really good place. HIV is a manageable condition today. There are some really outstanding drug regimens out there for people that uh, essentially get everyone to an undetectable viral load, which typically will allow a long, healthy life very much along the lines of the general population. There are single tablet regimens that uh, can be taken once a day. The other innovation that we're seeing is long-acting injectable drug regimens. Patient choice seems to be driving a lot of the factors behind the innovation at Vive. It's really about treating the patient holistically. Stigma is a big issue and it prevents people from getting diagnosed, starting therapy, even staying on treatment once once they start. In a recent research project, we found that almost 60% of individuals were not necessarily happy with their current antiretroviral regimen. That's one of the reasons why Vive Healthcare continues to innovate and to try to find options for all individuals that would meet their needs. So a lot of work has gone into where we are today, but what's next? What's coming in the future? So in a lot of ways, the future is here through research and development. There are several pharma companies, including Vive Healthcare, that are moving in this direction to produce even longer acting injectable therapies. I'm talking about long acting regimens that can be dosed as little as every four to six months. Can you tell us a little bit about how long acting therapies work within the body? Essentially, the long acting injectables work via the establishment of a drug depot in the body, which uh, allows the drug to slowly become available and uh, last for weeks to, to potentially months. There are really multiple ways that you can deliver long-acting therapy. Could be by IV infusion, could be by an injection either subcutaneously or intramuscularly, mm -hmm. even an implant. Some of those would be amenable to self-administration, some by healthcare professional administration. How does that affect someone who's actually living with HIV? For any HIV therapy, the threshold of the floor is an undetectable virus load. But beyond that, we want to deliver therapies that really make it such that individuals are living a life comparable to those without HIV at all. We want to provide therapy where it makes the most sense for the individual. If that's at home, great. If that's in a clinic office, great. So it sounds like we're leaving a tremendous amount of burden off of that person that's living with HIV, but giving them the choice of how they want to take it, meeting them where they are. Absolutely. I think we both agree. It's an exciting time to be in HIV medicine and at Vive Healthcare. And as you know, Bill, we are here until HIV and AIDS are not. <laughs>